What's up, everybody? Carolina Jackpot Time checking in. Uh, Saturday morning, December 2nd, 2017. Uh, it's Championship Saturday in college football this weekend. Um, I've been under the weather this week, unfortunately, and uh, working a lot. I had a lot going on and uh, wasn't able to make my picks and predictions video on Wednesday like I can normally do. Uh, and I wanted to try to do it Thursday night, didn't do it. And I had to work late yesterday. But I am doing it this morning on the way in. And um, if you put comments down in my comment section, about, oh, well, you shouldn't be driving and making videos. This is the reason people get in wrecks. Be ba da ba dee ba da ba do. I'm going to delete your comment. I don't care. Um, I've been making videos and driving for years and uh, never had a problem with it. So, uh, you know. Well, there might be a first time for everything. Well, you know what? That'll be my problem to deal with if it does take place. So uh, let's get into these picks real quick. Uh, if you missed last night's game, uh, Stafford lost to USC 31-28 in the Pac-12 championship game. Uh, Stanford uh, had a chance there uh, inside like five minutes to tie the game up. Uh, they went for it on uh, it's like fourth and two or fourth and one and a half, something like that. <coughs> a fourth and goal from like the one and a half, I think. And uh, they got stuffed. And then USC just ran the clock out. Hindsight's 20-20, but uh, I was looking at that at the time and said, man, I, I kicked that field goal. Uh, you know, I can't, uh, I can't see why they, why they did that. I mean, I'm sure that uh, David Shaw wanted to win the game. Um, maybe he didn't like his chances in overtime or something, but uh, anyway, I think they blew a huge chance there. Uh, Bryce Love, the will probably uh, be in New York for the Heisman ceremony, but I don't think he'll win it. All right, he was uh, he rushed for 125 yards or so, but kind of seemed like a non-factor to me in that game. He did score a touchdown, and uh, he had one long run, which accounted for a uh, bevy of his yards. I was having to come out about every other play. I'm sure he was in a lot of uh, a lot of pain. He's got a high ankle sprain, some problems there, and uh, it's been bugging him for uh, what six weeks or so. Yeah, so he was uh, not. I don't think at 100%. Um, that was probably another factor there that uh, cost him a little bit in that game. Injuries this time of the year taking toll on a lot of teams. Um, can't be deep enough anymore uh, in college football because you're gonna you're gonna have players who sustain injuries. Uh, Memphis on taking on UCF in the uh, American Athletic Championship game today <laughs> at noon. UCF is a uh, seven-point favorite. Uh, I don't see any way you can't take UCF in this game. Uh, two met at the end of September. Uh, UCF won 40 to 13. Uh, I think Memphis has got a really good team. Uh, I don't think they're on UCF's level, though. Uh, UCF is just really, man, they've really turned it around, become one of the success stories of college football. They were winless in 2015. <clears throat> and they have a lot, of, uh, a lot of rumor going on right now. Scott Frost, their head coach, uh, is going to take this job, going to take that job. Um, I don't think that's going to – be a huge distraction today, and uh, I think they're going to win this game. And I look for UCF to cover the spread. It's going to be closer than last time around, uh, probably about a 10 point margin or so. The Knights uh, take that game and head into a New Year's Six Bowl game. Uh, doing this one just for the heck of it. Uh, Louisiana Monroe on the road against Florida State. That's a game that was uh, postponed by Hurricane Irma. Uh, back at the middle of September, and uh, FSU rescheduled it uh, later on in the season. Uh, when they saw that they would have to have it to uh, get bowl eligible. Uh, I'm sure they're going to win this game fairly easily. Uh, it's a 26 and a half point spread. Uh, I don't look for them to cover it though. Um, I think they'll win by about three touchdowns. Louisiana Monroe, I picked a couple of weeks ago to cover the spread against Auburn uh, in their game, and uh, they did. They put points up on the scoreboard, and uh, I 
I'm sure they'd like nothing more than to spoil Florida State's party. And to be honest with you, uh, it's not unrealistic that they might do so. Yeah, I think that team's uh, an emotional state. You know, Jimbo Fisher, for what it's worth, I don't think that uh, uh, handled that extremely well. I think that guy's selfish uh, jerk. Um, you had your uh, quarterback, Francois, had something on Twitter last night. I've seen screenshots of everywhere. Uh, coach didn't even bother to text him or call him before he left. You know, I don't guess he even had any kind of meeting with him or, or nothing. Just kind of said, see ya. Heading out the road to Texas a and I don't know. I don't know about him. I don't think he's always cracked up to me. Uh, he had, what, two really good years there at FSU. Won a national championship one year. And uh, he went to the college football playoff the next. And that was, um, you know, pretty much uh, all on James Winston. Uh, other than that, you know, it was 2010, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17 teams. None of them were great. Uh, none of those teams were elite. Um, I just I don't think he's that I don't think he's that great of a coach. I'll be honest with you. Um, I would like nothing more than to see my South Carolina Boomcocks pound them into the ground next uh, fall when they come into Williams Bryce Stadium because they'll come a calling. It's about time to beat Texas A&M, and uh, what better time to do it than now. But FSU, I think, will win this game by about, as I said, three scores. Should have a crowd there that resembles a, a spring game. Uh, I would think probably about 40,000. Uh, TCU and Oklahoma playing in uh, Cowboys Stadium for the uh, Big 12 championship. Uh, I don't see, once again, how you can pick against Oklahoma in this one. Uh, their defense has uh, improved the past couple of weeks. And uh, if it wasn't for that one little goof up in uh, early October, they really would be undefeated. And uh, Baker Mayfield's uh, really, really, really playing well the past uh, few weeks. I mean, it's out of his mind. Uh, this guy's going to win the Heisman Trophy. Uh, hands down, it might be one of the bigger landslides uh, that we've seen in uh, quite a while on the voting on that particular trophy. And uh, I think it's going to be a fairly uh, easy win for Oklahoma, probably about two scores. They did win 38-20 last time these two teams hooked it up. I just don't think that uh, TCU's uh, quite good enough to compete with them, uh, especially on this big stage. And uh, Lincoln Riley is going to go to the uh, college football playoff uh, in his first year on the job. Uh, kind of surprised me. Uh, I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't looking for that one. Uh, I, think they're, uh, I think they definitely uh, are a big surprise this year to be there. Uh, Four o'clock today, Georgia versus Auburn in the uh, SEC championship game in the Mercedes-Benz Dome in Atlanta. Uh, the line on that one is now down to Auburn, favored by a point. Um, so the money's coming in on Georgia. I'm going to pick Georgia in this game. Uh, Auburn, once again, that's another team that's banged up. We are talking about being beat up by injuries a few minutes ago. Uh, carry on Johnson. I, they don't know if he's going to play in the game or not. Uh, I, I would think that if there's any way possible that he can play, that he will compete in that game. But um, that's not anything for certain there. Um, Auburn beat them a few weeks ago, 40 to 17. That was a home game for Auburn. Uh, this is going to be a much different environment. I don't exactly know how the how the tickets are dispersed out for that one, or uh, what the crowd is going to really look like. But I'd say it'd probably be about 70% uh, Georgia. Auburn's not very far from there either, so who knows? Who knows? I really don't know. <laughs> I do know that uh, Georgia's the more healthy team, and uh, you know I was shocked that they uh, dominated them like they did the first time around. Uh, UGA um, was undefeated up to that point, right number one. Uh, of course, you also got to look at the back of Auburn. They took care of business against number one ranked teams two out of three weeks there. They were ranked number one, and Alabama was ranked number one. They knocked them off last weekend. Uh, that game wasn't really in doubt. But 
so I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to pick Georgia in this one uh, just because I think that, uh, like I said, Auburn's just kind of beat up, banged up, and uh, taking care of business. Uh, we have the uh, Big Ten championship game this evening. Ohio State, uh, about a five-point favorite over Wisconsin. Uh, Two-loss Ohio State team. Um, one of which of their losses was uh, against the team that Wisconsin beat. Um, yeah, everybody's talking about that side of the uh, that side of the Big Ten, that western side of the conference. I don't know what they call it, the leaders or something, or the legends. One's one is the legends, one's the leaders. Uh, anyway, it's like the western side of the uh, Big Ten is not is so much weaker. And the other side, uh, however, uh, Wisconsin handled Iowa team from that side that uh, Oklahoma State, or Ohio State, excuse me, absolutely got pounded by. Uh, and I'll look at that. Uh, also look at Michigan. Those two played Michigan. That's a common opponent. They uh, both handled them about the same fashion. Uh, they also both played Indiana. Uh, both teams handled Indiana, however, uh, Ohio State kind of struggled with them up until the uh, middle of the third quarter, but that was uh, that was the first game of the season. Uh, Wisconsin played them Indiana just a few weeks ago, and uh, that was a game that I figured would be close, uh, just because Indiana had been playing a lot of close games, uh, and it wasn't close. Uh, Indiana was uh, just dominated by them. Uh, you know, once again, the game against Michigan, they both beat Michigan. Uh, around the same margin, I do believe. Um, uh, Wisconsin's defense has just been, I don't know, it's just been out of this world. Uh, JT Barrett, for what it's worth, somebody that's been in that program for, uh, what has he been around for, like four years now? I don't know. It just still doesn't look uh, as polished uh, as he really should uh, to have been in that system for that long. But I don't <laughs> I don't see uh, Wisconsin uh, letting up here. Um, I think they've uh, they're undefeated, flown under the radar all year long, and uh, I think they're going to step out on tonight on the big stage and do it. I think they're going to remain undefeated, and they're going to make their way into the college football playoff, pull the upset tonight. Wisconsin wins this game. Uh, their defense is just too much. They're too strong. I saw some kind of statistic yesterday on Facebook, and it was showing, you know, they had listed, they had Clemson had like 40. Alabama was like 69. Uh, Georgia was like however many. And what it was was four- and five-star players on the current roster. Wisconsin has six. Six compared to all these other teams with 40 and 50, four and five stars on their roster. Uh, I mean, that tells you something right there. I mean, they're just, I mean, they're put together. Uh, and, you know, it always take four and five star athletes to uh, <laughs> compete. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm really sick. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't even hardly think straight right now. Last game of the night, Clemson versus Miami, uh, ACC Championship. Clemson's a nine-and-a-half point favorite. Um, I don't see any way that Clemson loses this game other than uh, if they just absolutely shoot themselves in the foot with turnovers uh, and, and bad decisions. Uh, that hasn't been, their, uh, hasn't been their mantra all year long, so I don't see why they would do it tonight. Miami's another team that's got some uh, injury problems. Um, and they just, I don't know, they just have not impressed me all that much, especially as of late last week, losing that game to Pittsburgh. I mean, you can say that was a Friday road game. And, you know, they still should have handled business. Pittsburgh's not very good. It's not the same Pittsburgh team that Clemson lost to last year. Um, I don't see the Tigers losing this game, uh, but I'm going to call for Miami to cover the spread. I think it'll be about a one-touchdown game. They've actually risen up and played well in uh, – big games against bigger opponents this year. Um, but 